Hey y'all, welcome back to the DIY Entrepreneur's Reaction Show. I'm so glad you decided to tune in with me today. Go ahead and hit that like button and become a subscriber to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I would really appreciate that. Today we're going to be reacting to another Shark Tank pitch, so let's check it out. First into the tank are entrepreneurs with a better way to bake from scratch. Yeah. Hello, my name is Leah and I am Taya. We are two moms from Portland, Oregon and together we created Scratch and Gray Baking Company. We are here seeking $150,000 in exchange for 20% equity of our business. Currently, baking at home is a very flawed production. Right, you either have that mystery bag -o mix or that questionable tube of dough. I can't pronounce the ingredients on any of those labels and they never taste quite right. Alternatively, you can spend hours upon hours baking from scratch at home. Who has the time and money for that? Right? Right. Since there currently is no good option on the market to make delicious homemade baked cookies, so we created the, the Cookie Kit. Kit. Our cookie kits make homemade baking easy and fun. We individually package, label, number, and color code each ingredient separately, making homemade baking foolproof. So all you have to do is supply the butter and the egg, and we provide the rest. Plus, these cookie kits intentionally make one large cookie sheet of 9 to 12 big cookies instead of 40. And they taste amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sharks, who is excited about the cookie kit and wants to jump in this cookie jar with us? What do they taste like? Well, <laughs> let us show you. <laughs> We're very hungry, Sharks. <laughs> so, take a, a tray of cookies. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Taya, what flavors do we have? Well, we have six different flavors. Currently, we have chocolate chip, oatmeal raisin, and classic sugar. And then three of our six are actually gluten-free. This is my favorite. Mm. I haven't tried the others. What is it's it? Out of this world. Oatmeal raisins. Like yes, real that's my favorite. Taya, I got to be honest with you. I don't know. I'm going to eat another five or six before yeah, I come you know, <laughs> <laughs> It is incredible. Thank you. Wow, it's really good. Oh. It's just, it's a healthier cookie, right? Yes, because it you're is. using whole wheat flour, you're using flax seeds, organic mm. sugar. So your market really is like Whole Foods or places it is. that. That's where we're currently at. We're currently in about 220 locations, including Whole Foods. <laughs> I didn't mean to stop it right there, but first of all, Robert all over uh, Lori's shoulder. Did y'all see him? He all like all over her shoulder. He steady chewing all in her ear. He is just so amazed at how these cookies taste. He is a trip. Look at him. <laughs> Sir Latab were in all 120 of their locations. And how did you even come up with the idea? You know, I have two daughters, and one of them came to me and said, I want to make homemade cookies. So I went to the store, spent $40 on the ingredients, came home, spent three hours measuring, baking, and cleaning. And the most frustrating part for me is I felt wasteful because I barely used any of those ingredients. And I was like, you know, it'd be great if there was some kind of a kit that had the best ingredients figured out for me so I still was an activity to do and still fun but I didn't have to go and buy all the ingredients, and I didn't want 40 cookies at the end of it either. Tara, what are your sales? Our current sales since inception, 14 months ago, 52,000. Tara, it seems low to me. You know, it is, and we had experienced a lot of production problems. So when we started this business, we packaged every single one of those ingredients by hand. We and it seems kind of low because she said she was in a particular store that had 120 locations and so you would think that they have more sales from being in 120 stores you would think that there's more sales than just the 52k um but let's see what else she says we still hand label each one of those bags so we need to automate our process tell you're selling it for how much the retail is between seven and twelve dollars depending on the store that you what, buy what, from. You, what's your what cost you, what does it cost to make one our all in cost all in. with our overhead and everything is 389 currently. Oh! Yeah, that's our problem too. That's why we're here. Ooh. Now, the thing oh. that we've always liked about this business is that it is scalable. So we've always known okay, that we can't get Okay, let's scale it. Let's say you get your 150,000. Mm -hmm. What is the new model? Because mm. those margins suck. Mm. The <laughs> machines that we want would be able to produce at least 50,000 eight what hours cost? a day, five days a week. Including overhead, what cost? 
$2.15. How much of your product do you sell online? It's not even 10%. Why? Why do you think that is? Because it costs no, well, $5 not. to ship a box. Who is going to buy a product for $8? Mm, let's that say, is a really, for $5. really good point. No, but, you know, one thing that would really cut down on costs for you tremendously is if everything were in one bag. Like, you know, everything's mixed in and it's layered. That'll cut down your shipping costs, too. I'm just saying. You don't like yeah, it, Leah. But I don't well, like no. it because the <laughs> reason we There's did this, reason. because we want you to know what's in your food, and it does matter. Like, baking from scratch is different. You, you put your egg and your butter and your sugar, and you stir it really well, and that emulsifies it. And then you add in your, your flowers, and that way you don't overstir your flour. So you're, when saying, you, you're saying that you process. have to do them in different tiers. Right, exactly. All of these things are what makes that cookie way yes. better I than any other. I agree with you. I get that. But I'm, so I'm really on the fence process. with you because the whole business mm. is about getting your cost of goods in this package down to around 170. Right. Guys, let me let me simplify things for everybody. My idea of baking is going <laughs> <laughs> that smells That's good. Bomp, right. Well, look at it. He's right. got an empty plate yeah. totally gone. Yeah. I hated them, right? Oh. Yeah. Um, but I just have no clue, so I'm out. I'd like to know a little bit more about the two of you. What's your background? Um, I can tell you a story we started. It's kind of funny. Um, I had this bad experience baking with my children, and I have this go-getter neighbor, and I, um, I knew she wanted to start a business, so I actually sent her this random text message and said, hey, uh, you want to start this business 50-50 with me? And I actually spent 10 years in the securities finance industry. When I had my first child, I decided I just wasn't going to put in 18 hours for somebody else with no long-term payoff. So I always work. I'm the hardest worker you'll ever meet. And if I'm going to put in that time, there better be a better reward at the end of it. Oh, a so, capitalist. I love you. So, what were you selling in the securities industry? Uh, I was actually a fixed income trader, so bonds, any any kind of fixed really? income security. Really? Now he really likes it. <laughs> <laughs> but now you're working even more hours and making no money because you're no. There's a long-term payoff on this. The first thing mm. that came to my mind was that there are so many other cookies out there where you can bake them yourself at home. And I hate to say that because I really like you, but I, I thought this is just so competitive. Mm. So for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. I don't doubt your ability to um, sell. I think you're, you're both hustling in the most positive way. I love the fact you left an industry that you didn't have passion for, and you're doing it for yourself. Right. You know, we are working so hard. Yeah, you're working super hard. It's very admirable. You're working all the time. You know, I honestly was raised by a single mom that struggled with drug addiction my, her whole life, and I worked my way out. I am uh, sorry I'm pregnant, no which is really simple, Greg. Right. And it, that's what actually gave me my motivation to be where I am. Is from seeing my mother, who's made a lot of bad decisions and put us in a lot of bad situations. And so it's been my motivation to never go through that and to never put my own family through it. Oh. And I also... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Aww. He's such a gentleman. And we did it all because we believe in the product, we believe in the business. But let me, uh, let me make a statement here, just... Unless you get the production down to 170, you'll go out of business. I'm sorry. Mm. We can cry all we want, but that's yeah. the truth. Okay, you will never Don't make, make it. a pregnant girl cry. No, I get it. <laughs> I get it. You, know, you want to be the first, don't worry. So, you, you, and I'm sure there's a way for you to do that. I don't know what it is right now, but you're going to have to get there pretty quickly or you're going to zero. Mm. Good luck to you. I'm out. Mm. Thank you. Thanks. Anybody right, else? A couple of thoughts. Yes. Honestly, when I heard scratch and green, I really thought you were talking about scratching. She's right. I know you meant from scratch, but I think when it's mm. the first word, I didn't quite get that, and I think a typical consumer would not. I also wish you had come in here and said, hey, we're looking for $50,000. No problem. I would have taken a chance. 150 is way too much, too risky. I don't know how to get around 150. dollars Well, I have a way to get around that. Oh. All the time I've been up here, I've never lost money in somebody who deeply believes in what they're doing and sees it as something greater than just making a buck. You got that in spades. However, the category is probably a little too small for me today. This is definitely a Barbara category. Oh, she you. understands. I'm so complimented. It is a compliment. So you go put My up the other hundred. My objection was it's too much of an ask. I'll give you 150,000 for 40% of 
as long as you can convince Barbara to come in for half of it. What a 75? Three sharks are out. Taya and Leah have an offer from Robert, but it's for twice the equity they are offering, and they have to convince Barbara to go in on the deal. I want to participate, but Barbara can add a tremendous amount Tell of value to this Robert. category. Tell me that again, Robert. In fact, here's my offer and it excludes Robert. I'll give you $150,000 as a mm. line of credit, but I still get 20% equity. Barbara, that doesn't make any sense. Of course it makes sense. With my offer, you have to put up half the money and get the same equity. Yeah, but I don't want you in the deal. All right. And it's not going to take 40%. No fair. He's a lovely guy, but he is a pain in the ass when you try to reach him. <laughs> and that's oh, not damn. any fun. I like to make all the decisions with... Woo! That's a low blow, first of all. Now, who else is going to hear that for seasons to come? And then that has marked Robert as saying he's kind of too difficult to get in contact with. She must have some experience with him already and I already know like, no, I don't want to go in, back into business and do business with Robert. He's too much of a hassle to get in contact with and to get on the phone. So, no, we're not going to do that. Wow. That's a low blow, but it's hard. It's hard news. But hey, I wonder what Robert is going to say. My entrepreneurs see what they think, bang, move quickly. And besides, Robert, just... Barbara just threw you under a bus. I'm, I'm not going to argue with her. Barbara writes on a stone tablet. So by the time, <laughs> I use this fancy thing called email. Look, I, she always doesn't want me in the deal. I really believed in you guys. How do you feel about making us an offer without Barbara? Tell you, all of a sudden you're not crying anymore. And you've got this nasty element. <laughs> I really like I, I'll, I'll make the same offer with or without Barbara. 150000 for 40%. 40? Okay. Ladies, the cookies Ooh. are burning. What are you going to do? Barbara, line of credit. Robert, we would absolutely love to accept your offer, but we have to take Barbara. Girl! Yeah, no. Thank you so much. Sorry, big boy. You're even smarter than that. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Barbara really threw Robert under the bus with saying that, and they aired it too. She's like, he's a pain in the butt to get a hold of. And then he came back and said, all you gotta do is email me. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. But anyway... So Scratch and Grain came into the tank asking for $150,000 for 20% of their company. They ended up walking out of the tank with a deal from Barbara for a $150,000 line of credit instead of the money, but just a line of credit. And then they're going to give up the 20% equity for their business. And so I would like to do some research to see if they still stay with their marketing plan of keeping it as a kit. Because I think what Lori said was a good idea. You know, you can have packages that's perforated. You know what I mean? That's you got you got one part of the container and then you got it sealed and then you got the next part. And so then when you're baking, you're just cutting those things. One, it makes it easier for um shipping. And then it gets the cost down for packaging. And so I thought that was a really good idea. All they had to do was think through it. And I don't know if my whole seal, each component is going to work. But I just think with a little bit of creativity, it could have worked. So I liked it, Lori's suggestion for them. So, but Barbara got the deal while she threw Robin under the bus. That was hilarious. But I'm, a, I'm glad that they were able to get the deal. And I hope that that partnership worked out good for them. But hit the links in the description box below so that you can get the update. Again, this was aired back in 2015. And so make sure you hit those links below to see what they're up to if they're still in business in 2022. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and staying until the end. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button and become a subscriber if you like this content. And don't forget to check us out for the next ones. I like those women. I'm happy they got you. We've just both put our heart and our soul into this business. So this is a great date. I'm so thankful and happy that we got a deal. I'm very happy. 